<laughs> what do you know of the dark empath? Is that a term or a word or a phrase that you've ever heard before? Because a lot of times when we're talking about narcissism and a couple other traits, we start getting into the aspect of like, wait a second, what about people who do feel empathy and how they leverage that and manipulate that to hurt other people? Well, there's a phrase and a term out there called dark empath that we're going to dive into a little bit and give you just some of the characteristics and some of the ideas behind that concept. If you guys are new here, my name is Ben Taylor. I'm a self-aware narcissist on this channel to provide awareness, growth, healing, and change. We do it on all the different platforms out there. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify under Raw Motivations. So if you don't follow us on some of the other platforms, feel free to be able to check it out. Sometimes we have different lives, different events that are happening on different platforms all the time. If you need a community that's going to help you heal, grow, and change, I want to encourage you to check out the NARC app. It stands for Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Community. It's a community of people that have banded together to try to help you in your healing journey. There's ways for you to be able to get on there and engage with community, be able to meet people all across the globe that are dealing with the same stuff that makes you feel crazy. And understanding, hey, I can get advice, I can get some counsel, I can get some encouragement from people on there. And you can also engage with courses that come out and that we have places where you can track your no contact, where you can journal your truth, where you can log in on a weekly basis and get challenged with weekly lives and sometimes assignments that come out of that. And also monthly coaching where we bring in coaches, psychologists, and survivors from across the globe to help you on that journey. So check that out at narcapp.com, N-A-R-C-A-P-P.com. Would love to have you join and be a part of that. If you want to talk to me sometime, you can go to rawmotivations.com, click on one-on-ones, and be glad to be able to meet with you. Also, if you're considering journaling, but you're not sure how or where to start, check out our new journal that we just came out with called From Fantasy to Reality. It's on Amazon. It's got over 100 prompts inside. And just to be able to help you start to think through the crazy making of the fantasy of the false narrative that you might be believing for a period of time. Anyways, let's jump into the concept and the idea of the dark empath. This is a new one for me. I haven't dived into this one at all, and I haven't done a ton of research on it. This is not something that hasn't really popped up before, but a couple of people were asking about it, so I put some stuff together, diving into it to figure out, hey, this is what's actually going on. So whenever we're talking about dark empath, there's not an official diagnosis. There's not an official thing out there that says this is exactly what it is, but a lot of people say, like, hey, it has some personality traits of narcissism, of Machiavellianism, of psychopathicism, like all those type of things are in a lot of times personality traits. I was just worried of, of messing up some of those, so I kind of did, but it's fine. You got the idea, okay? Narciss narcissism, psychopath, and Machiavellianism, that one, okay? Um, what happens is those traits are all kind of there in the system, you know, in the in the programming in one sense, but the other thing that's coming into there as well is empathy. And that's where it gets a little weird. And that's where it gets a little odd because we know like narcissism, like psychopaths, like they don't have empathy. What happens when this person comes into the picture where they have narcissistic traits and also empathetic at the same time? Also with that, not just empathy, but oftentimes an aspect of self-awareness, of actually knowing and understanding the things that they're doing or the things that they're feeling or the things that they're putting out there and leveraging to be able to get their way or to be able to manipulate other people. The crazy part about dark empaths is they're very dangerous. They're very strong manipulators because they use empathy a lot of times as a leverage and as a tool to be able to manipulate you even more. So we're going to dive in a little bit with some characteristics and signs of what a couple people have put together of being the aspect of dark empaths. Okay, A lot of times a dark empath is a lot harder to, to acknowledge or figure out or to identify because they're a lot more adaptive. They're able to adapt to different social situations much easier because they can read and they can pick up on empathy and on the emotions that people are putting out there. A lot of times narcissists don't pick up on it. They don't get it. They might love bomb or, or make it seem like that for a period of time, but they don't actually pick up on a lot of social cues. The thing with a dark empath is they can end up walking into the room and starting to mimic emotions. A lot of times with the dark empath, they also have high emotional sensitivity and also intelligence. So it gives you like the idea of like, I not only know that I'm manipulative, I not only know that I have these tendencies, but I also know how to be able to manipulate you because I can tell 
the emotions, I can tell the energy, I can tell the things going on in the room, in the conversation with the other person, and as a result, I can use those things to be able to manipulate you. That's the concept, that's the thought process, okay? So when we're talking about dark empath, they'll use feelings and their traits to be able to manipulate other people because of that emotional sensitivity and intelligence that they have, it becomes easier a lot of times to control other people in like the emotional aspect. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? You still have signs of narcissism and pieces like that coming through of like, hey, things still have to revolve around them. Like there's still that ego, that like centered focus. A lot of times you come up with, you know, compromises or things that you're going to work through or discussions and it still ends up being like everything seems to be like in their favor. Okay. So those are some aspects of it. Now, when we're talking about it, a lot of times we talk about narcissism and, you know, self-worth, self-esteem, like not being there. That would be the same with a dark empath, like low self-worth. And but the aspect is when the feelings come into it, it's not just a low self-worth, but then it's like, wait a second. Now, it's low self-worth. But when I bring in emotions, it's actually I'm unworthy of love. Well, I'm unworthy of having a healthy relationship, which kind of perpetuates that cycle of low self-worth. Sometimes with a dark empath, you run into more aspects of them running into anxiety and into depression. Uh, sometimes even the aspect of like a dark sense of humor. Sometimes you get that with a dark empath as well. You don't see as much anxiety and depression in narcissists and is narcissism. Okay, so that's something that you that's kind of a little bit of a differentiation there. But with the dark empath, what people are saying is when you bring in these emotions and that self awareness, you get more anxiety and a lot of times you get more depression feeding into that. Okay. Um, also, the aspect of a dark empath you'll see will oftentimes use your feelings and your emotions against you. So being able to flip it around back on you or be able to put around of like, hey, like you are hurting me by your emotions, by your feelings, like trying to put it back on you. OK, and that they end up being like better, you know, than just like a narcissist because they know, hey, this is what's going to affect you. This is the feelings. And I can actually engage with those instead of disconnecting with the empathy piece. Oftentimes that makes dark empaths really good at using people and being able to control the situation, whatever situation they're in, because they can leverage not just manipulation tactics, but also empathy to be able to confuse the people that they're with and to be able to keep them doing what they want them to do. You'll still see similar signs like you would with narcissism when we talk about guilt tripping and gaslighting and things like that. But again, some of that goes back to the aspect of they might do those things, but then they can also adapt to whatever room they're in because of that emotional sensitivity. Even though they might be emotionally sensitive, they oftentimes they're still going to be distant to you not letting you get close to them, not letting actually engage with who they actually are or the actual self. And typically we'll see a lot of times of a dark empath being self-serving. So still that ego focus is still about them. Now I like know I ran through a bunch of different things like really quick. And sometimes it touches into the idea of like narcissist and empathy. Like how does that actually work? The difference with, from what people are saying, the difference with some of the dark empath is the idea of having that empathy, but also that awareness about some of the things that they're doing and well, frankly, not caring. With a narcissist, you typically don't see the aspect of empathy there. But even as the DSM-5 says, narcissists lack empathy, is unwilling to acknowledge the needs of others, the feelings and the needs of others. So there is the aspect too, that some narcissists, I believe, do have empathy, but they're unwilling to show it and they're unwilling to demonstrate it because when they do, their ego has to die. They're not able to show empathy to someone that they've just hurt because then it goes back to say, hey, that's my fault that I actually caused that. Hopefully that makes sense. I know that was a quick video and I wanted to just run through those really quick to give you guys an idea. Again, there's not a ton of information out there. It's not diagnosable. It's not in the DSM-5, anything like that. But I wanted to put together a video to try to help give a little bit of awareness about dark empath and how some of that matches up with narcissism.